Olympics. Pride.com has reported that Australian athlete Robin Lambert made history over the weekend by earning the bronze medal in the women's 100-meter T34 wheelchair sprint at the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. This marks the first time an out trans athlete has medaled at the Paralympics, and they are only the second trans and non-binary person in history to medal at either Olympics or Paralympics. The first was Quinn, who took home the gold in Canada in Canada uh, women's soccer at this year's Olympics. For Lambert, who finished just behind Hannah Cockroft and Kerr Abingen of Great Britain, it was the culmination of a lot of hard work, training, and dreaming. They said, quote, it is my first Paralympic Games. It's been almost a 10-year dream to be here and win a medal among the best in the world. It's awesome. I just want to show all the kids out there with disabilities or not, if you have a dream, chase it. There's always a way you can find it, end quote. What a yeah. fantastic story. It's, yeah. it's also just been great, all the out athletes coming out at the Olympics and also just in the main professional sports in the United States. I think the yeah. first out there was just drafted in the NFL. I mean, there's, there's a lot of good news being for representation, also just for like kids growing up that you're seeing all these people in sports being out athletes. It's Visibility. And did you see her? She made, they made the, their, um, their chair fly. I mean, I've never mm -hmm. seen a wheelchair go that fast. I mean, it was incredible. And they're a model. So they, they represent the spectacular looking. And, and to Victor's point, uh, and, and here, watch me uh, prove this point. This is sports, Dan. These <laughs> are people who throw See? Not we those don't. balls. Not those balls. <laughs> you got me excited there. <laughs> right? Juggle. right, juggle. Okay, right. Uh, the uh, 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 gay men, the women, because they dominate. Uh, Everything. Uh, I mean, right. sorry. Uh, but gay men have not followed sports at the same degree as uh, uh, our lesbian women have. The other thing for me is I have never watched Paralympics before. Ever. I have never watched even one minute. This time, I have watched a lot. In the first week, I watched a lot. And I was, to be honest with you, I was surprised how exciting it was. Mm. I watched lots of the swimming. And of course, um, that Toyota ad of the of the girl from Siberia yes. that was adopted and lost her legs. Uh, and she's won two gold medals oh, already. That commercial makes me cry. It was yeah. just when she finished. And uh, she raises her head above water. You have no idea because you don't see her legs. This is a, an American uh, Olympic champion. And you have no idea that there's disability. And that's exactly the way it should be in terms of our representation. It's been an amazing experience to watch. Yeah, most definitely. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ+.